Hi again, this is James at World War II Jeep and Rifle. Today I want to talk about the fuel gauge cinder unit and uh, just show you some things about it. Number one, the fuel gauge is basically a variable resistor and I have one out of the tank here. The resistance decreases as the float rises on the rising level of the gasoline in the tank and the resistance increases as the float sinks. Um, the connections to this fuel gauge are one for the sensor side and one for the uh, ground. The sensor uh, on the dashboard is connected through this wire and I'll, I'll demonstrate basically a full tank and a quarter full tank. This is about a quarter full tank. You can see the gauge moved. And now just with a simple jumper wire, I'll connect the ground to the sensor and you can see the full deflection of the tank, the fuel tank gauge. That's just with a short, okay? So that's how it works. And to get to this cinder, you have to remove the driver's seat, which is Two, five, uh, two half inch bolts in the front and three seven sixteenths bolts in the rear. And then you pull out the cinder gauge with five screws. It's held in place over a gasket. And the orientation of the, of the float is also important. The deep side of the tank is uh, to the extreme left if you're facing forward. And so this float needs to be able to sink into the deep side of the tank and float as the fuel level rises. <clears throat> so that's the correct orientation. And hopefully that answers any questions you might have if you're thinking about replacing your fuel tank cinder unit. Let me know if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll show you more. See you next time.